I think it is absolutely vital for every country, every leader to send a signal that uh, the, the viciousness of a handful of killers does not stop the world from doing vital business. And that Paris, one of the most beautiful, uh, enticing cities in the world, uh, is not going to be cowered uh, by uh, the uh, violent, uh, demented actions of a few. And that, that's part of the overall message that uh, I want to very clearly send the American people. Um, we do not succumb to fear. That's the, that's the primary power that these terrorists have over us. They cannot strike a mortal blow against the United States or against France or against a country like Malaysia. Um, but they can, they, they can make people fearful, and that's understandable. Because that could have been us, that could have been our families, that could have been our children uh, in these places. And our hearts are broken when we see these images. But in addition to hunting down terrorists, in addition to effective intelligence, and in addition to uh, missile strikes, in addition to cutting off financing, and all the other things that we're doing, the most powerful tool we have to fight ISIS is to say that we're not afraid, to not elevate them. To, to somehow buy into their fantasy that they're doing something important. They're a bunch of killers. And there have been people throughout human history who can find an excuse to kill people because they don't think like them or look like them. And we fight them and we beat them. And we don't change uh, our institutions and our culture and our values uh, because of them. I, I want to be very clear about this. I am not afraid that ISIL will beat us because of their operations. When I see a headline that says uh, this individual who, who uh, designed this plot uh, in Paris is a mastermind. He's not a mastermind. It's a, he found a few other uh, vicious people, got hands on some fairly conventional weapons, and sadly, it turns out that if you're willing to die, you can kill a lot of people. And so it is in our capacity to roll up those networks. Now we've got to take precautions, we have to take it seriously, and we have to go at the heart uh, of the problem that exists inside uh, of Syria and Iraq right now. And we have to address the broader issues uh, that uh, exist in a tiny fraction of uh, the Muslim community but it is a real problem that leaders from Prime Minister Najib to uh, the President of Indonesia and others who have large Muslim populations acknowledge. A country like Indonesia has 250 million people. If just a tiny fraction of those are in some ways uh, attracted by a, a vicious ideology like ISIL's, then that's a real problem for us. And so you know, tools like counter countering the, the, this narrative, and, and Muslim clerics and, and political leaders and community leaders coming forward and making sure that our children are not, are not being fed this kind of bile, uh, that's critically important as well. But in all of this, we cannot respond from fear. And, and the American people in the past have, have confronted some very real, enormous uh, threats, and we beat them. We vanquish them. This will be no different.